question about it. But we have enormous news, and you can see it on the lower left-hand corner of your screen. We have a trade, and Adam Schefter has the detail. Shefty. Greeny, we have the Giants trading number 11 to the Chicago Bears. The Bears come up, presumably for a quarterback. The Giants get back in return. The Bears' first-round pick next year. They're five this year, and they're four next year. So you see the picks that they get back in addition to the one this year. Next year's one, five this year, four next year. The Bears are coming up. It looks like quarterback time again in Chicago, Greeny. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, the, the reaction in Chicago is going to be remarkable at draft parties in and around the city there because this is something that the Bears fans and the Bears team desperately needs. You see Mac Jones, he's available for them. Justin Fields is available for them. Booger, what are you thinking? I'm going Mac Jones because do they dare go down the same road as Mr. Trubisky, the dual threat guy with the athletic ability? They've seen that in Justin Fields. So do they go down that road or do you go with the guy that can play the position the old school way? Sit back and pick your part. May not have the athleticism. Are they gunshot from getting burned on Mitch Trubisky. Yeah, it just depends on which one you want. Obviously, Mac Jones brings a different skill set. He's a pocket passer who's tremendously smart, tremendously accurate. Justin Fields equally is adept in those areas. To me, I'm a Justin Fields guy. He was my second highest rated quarterback. Mac was my fourth highest rated quarterback. I'm going Justin Fields over Mac Jones. I think New England is interesting because who fits New England the best here? To me, it's Mac Jones. Mac Jones, you're right. And, yeah, that's the fit there perfect for them. Chicago's now ahead of New England. What does New England do? Set at 15, and do they like Justin Fields enough to take him? This pick impacts the Patriots and what they do at 15. Lewis, let's make sure everyone who is watching is aware of all of the pressure that exists right now on the general manager in Chicago, Ryan Pace, and the head coach, Matt Nagy. Look, I think I think we know how much pressure is on both of those, those two. <laughs> There's no question about that. I think this pick is going to have Matt Nagy, the head coach's fingerprints, all over it. All over it. In my estimation, that's who's making this pick. This is his evaluation. He evaluated the, the quarterback class that had Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson and Mitch Trubisky, and I know exactly how he liked those guys. I know how he had those guys ranked. This is his pick. If it's a quarterback, it's his pick because he knows it's his, his rear end that's on the line, and he's going to take his guy. So let's just see which one it is. Well, and based on their job security, you would think that this, this pick has to come and play really soon because yeah. th their job is on the line in Chicago, so this pick has got to be on the field in order to get this process started. It seems unfathomable they would have traded up to here not to take a quarterback. So it seems that way. We don't know what Roger Goodell is about to tell us, but it seems impossible, Mel, to imagine it will not be one of the two quarterbacks. I would have to think it's one of the two quarterbacks. You think about the Windy City, right? You think about Mac Jones, not the arm strength Justin Fields had. You think about Andy Dalton there without the great arm strength. You think about this whole organization about having to win now, giving up a one next year. So all those things I think go into this to see will it be Mac Jones or will it be Justin Fields? I think we're pretty much guaranteed it's going to be one of those two. Well, here is the moment that fans in Chicago have been waiting impatiently for. The commissioner is making his way to the stage. There will be a special presentation and then he will announce the Bears pick as they have traded up with the Giants to number 11. Here's Roger. Through this year's draft-a-thon, the NFL is supporting our nation's path to recovery from COVID-19 by focusing on the critical issues of mental health, food insecurity, health disparities, and the digital divide. Throughout the pandemic, health disparities widen in communities of color, indigenous communities, and for older and rural Americans. We're joining forces with the CDC Foundation as part of a draft-a-thon to meet the basic needs like nutrition, safety, and health. Carlos Nelson, who's behind me, has been doing just that, leading the Greater Auburn Gresham Development Corporation in Chicago. His dream of creating a federally qualified health center to provide medical care in his neighborhood is becoming a reality with support from the Chicago Bears and it will open in 2022. Congratulations, Carlos, and please take it away with the Bear selection. Boy, how exciting is this? With the 11th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the My Chicago Bears select Justin Fields. <laughs> 
quarterback, Ohio State. Oh! This is a founding franchise in the National Football League. In 1920, as the Decatur Staleys, they have waited that long for a great quarterback in Chicago. Will it be Justin Fields? He never lost a game in the Big Ten. He threw 63 touchdowns and ran for 15 more in his two years at Ohio State after transferring from Georgia. Threw six against Clemson in the playoff in January. When the Big Ten initially shut down for the 2020 season, he organized an online petition that got over 320,000 signatures. He wanted to play, and he was one of the players who needed it the least for his draft stock. Justin Fields has superstar potential. He's headed to Chicago, where they desperately need him. Mel Kuyper, let's go. In the Windy City, you need the big arm, and Justin Fields has the big arm. He's got tremendous ability with his legs to beat you. Think about number one player, along with Trevor Lawrence, one and one A coming out of high school, goes to Georgia, then he leaves, I got Jake Fromm, you go to over to Ohio State, got all that pressure, and you respond to that. 2019, I think people forgot about 2019, how great he was, and then after everybody questioned him, what he did here against Ohio State, against Clemson, with Ohio State, with those Buckeyes, underdog, handling that Clemson Tiger defense effectively. In that game, you think about throwing for 385 yards, six touchdowns, and the one interception. First quarterback in Big Ten history, though, 40 touchdowns, rushed for 10 in a season, did that in 2019. Yeah, he had to speed things up a bit, but you're talking about a kid who did it in 2019 at an elite level, and this year, in a COVID year, with all the interruptions, didn't have Chris Olave against Northwestern yet, still won that game, still did beat Indiana, so he had two subpar games in two years at Ohio State. Is that enough to push him down this far? I didn't think so. The Bears are taking a quarterback similar to the ones they passed on not that long ago in Mahomes and Watson. You know, what you look at, you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting a guy that can complete 70% of the balls from the pocket, but he also ran 4-4 four, four in the 40. But it's, it's going to be up to Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace to get this young man ready because they're drafting him to save their job. And if he's going to save their job, he's got to be on the field. So you got to get him ready to play and get him ready to play soon. This is not a project that we're saying, hey, this is going to be Alex Smith, Patrick Mahomes. We'll see you like in week 15. This young man has got to play and play soon. He's not ready now, so how fast they can get him ready to play, that's going to be key. Yeah, look, this is this is Matt Nagy to a T right here. This yeah. is his fingerprints are on this. I can picture what he's thinking here that he has here. I know that he really liked Deshaun Watson when he came out right. of Clemson. He probably sees a lot of the same things in Justin Fields. He's going to have to continue to develop his dropback game and make sure on third down he gets that process speed sped up to the point where it's like, boom, the ball is out and we're moving. And if it's not out, take off and run. Use that God-given ability and just pick up first downs and move this football and help us score points. If you're Allen Robinson right now, you're going, <laughs> hallelujah. If you're Darnell Mooney, you're going, thank you. This is what we needed. If you're David Montgomery, if you're the offensive line, the city of Chicago, you guys should be out in the streets just dancing and having a good time because you know what this your head coach now has said this is my guy this is what i'm going to develop trust me i think i know what i'm doing as far as evaluating quarterbacks and bringing in youngsters we did it down there in kansas city let's just see if we can recreate it here but you're right how long can you afford to wait exactly. to put him on the field? That's the key. How quickly can you get him on the field? Oh, let's think about That's the division. Question. If Aaron Rodgers is not happy in Green Bay, and he's moving on, and it becomes Jordan Love, right? right. Minnesota's got Kirk Cousins, kind of a plateau quarterback. We right. all agree with that, right? And then you got you know, the Detroit Lions with Jared Goff starting over. Now you got Justin Fields, who has more talent than any of them. Okay? More than, except Aaron Rodgers. Obviously, he may not be a Packer. So what's left in this division, even though I like Jordan Love, Justin Fields could end up being the best quarterback in the sure. division, which is you're going to go to the playoffs, you're going to try to win a Super Bowl, which is why you go through all these exercises. you got to have the elite quarterback. The party is on Rush Street tonight. They're turning up at Gibson's and Hugo's <laughs> and everywhere else in Chicago where the celebration begins. The Bears move up and make the big move to, make, uh, to draft their quarterback of the future in Justin Fields. Okay.